Okay, let's see if this works. So, um, I've just come from a fantastic property meet uh, at Blackfriars. Definitely go to that one, guys, run by Fraser, Fraser McDonald. And I'm heading home. But I, I just want to talk about some stuff that we talked about our, our mentoring program at the weekend, which is about kind of the time cost of money. Um, so I was chatting with some of the guys who, in my opinion, have been really quite successful developers. And we were just, I wouldn't say comparing, because we weren't trying to put one ahead of the other, but we were just observing the differences between the kind of projects that I've done in the past and then the kind of projects that they've done in the past and kind of looking at how much money the banks took and how much money uh, investors took and how much money you ended up with. And one of the things that was really interesting when we analysed the two was when you were doing like a 3 million GDV project, um, which is not the kind of projects I've done. Uh, I do single um, vanilla, fast in, fast out, get it sorted. The guys were like 18 months carrying the cost of finance. Whereas when I do a single, um, say, buy to let, the maximum, as we discussed, I've ever actually had to wait uh, before the tenants started paying the bills was 10 weeks. So I only ever carried the cost of finance and all the bills for 10 weeks. And that makes an enormous difference. So if you added it all together, um, the fact that I was only cash flowing, if you like, 10 weeks worth, not 18 months worth, and 10 weeks of a much smaller sum, which I repeated again and again and again with a really nice cookie cutter, it just meant that cash flow didn't particularly become a problem and the cost of finance wasn't particularly strong. I mean, it hurt, of course it did. <laughs> you know, the cost of finance is always a cost, but it meant that that cost of finance in the early stage of growth wasn't as difficult as maybe if you're carrying a 3 million GDV project and having to pay for all the costs on that, all, all the interest costs on that. And, and it just was interesting looking in the early stage about the kind of time cost of money and making sure in the most lovely way possible that um, you can get your customers to pay for the time cost of money, i.e. interest, as fast as possible. Which is why I was so interested in the early days on vanilla, buy to let or buy to sell. So you get there, you get in, you get it sorted out, you get it turned around and you get it rented out or sold as fast as you can. So just think about speed. But anyway, fantastic meet at Blackfriars. Daphne go. Um, I've had a wonderful time talking property. Look, it's London <laughs> and it's late. <laughs> I feel like a little kid in the playground. See you soon. Bye.